swear words. They're the most popular and alluring taboos we have, but the secrets to their strange power have been shrouded in mystery until now. Join me on a journey through the history, evolution, and cultural impact of swear words. Words don't start out as swear words. They're just words. Somebody decided at some point that this is a swear word. There's an acronymic etymology, fornication under consent of the king. This household has been given my consent to fall. It is total horseshit. Imagine that you've been called the worst thing you could be called so often. That doesn't mean anything to you anymore. Taking that negative and inverting it. What's the intention of the speaker and what's the reception of the hearer? My dog's a bitch, but I never call her that. Who are you calling a bitch? I call her a cunt. There's something innately human about swearing. More conservative people try and invalidate people they disagree with by, like, pointing to their language. Parental advisory sticker to me was implicitly racist. Who's deciding these are bad words? Who did it? We're going to do an experiment. There are scientific studies that say that you feel better when you swear. You can hold your hand in a bucket of nearly freezing water. Shit. About 50% longer if you're swearing Shit. than if you're not. Mother. Shit. Shit. I think there's a need now for swearing and profanity more than any other time. Two minutes and 20 seconds. Ah, the power of cursing, like it's important. The release, that's what really what profanity gives us. Oh, shit. Bitch. Fuck that pussy. Dick. I'm Nicholas Cage. Let's get fucked.